Blocks Way will automatically just bounce all the slices you made into a loop when it exports the project into Launchpad. So your project will sound the same inside Launchpad as it does inside Blocks Way. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Launchpad and this is Blocks Wave. And what I just did there was go from Launchpad into Blocks Wave by the tap of an arrow. And this is thanks to a new export function, allowing you to export your Blocks Wave projects straight into Launchpad for your remixing or performance purposes, which is absolutely brilliant. And as you can see, it's quite seamless. Man, I wanted something like this for a very long time and now it's here. Right, so let me explain to you exactly how this works and what you have to think about when you're using this function. Of course, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that both Blocks Wave and Launchpad are updated to their latest versions. I also want to add that this doesn't work between devices. You have to use the apps on the same device. Right, so let me take this from the top. Let's start by making a new project by going into the project browser, pressing the plus sign right there. And we've got a new project called Cerebral Classic Worm. So we tap that and go into that project. Now, this is empty. I'm not going to build a track. I'm just going to show you how this works. So let's choose a couple of different loops from inside Blocks Wave. Okay, so we're set with a few loops. And let's say we worked on this for a while. And then suddenly we would like to perform this track just to see how it holds up. So now we can directly export it into Launchpad. And so all we have to do is to locate the export function in the upper right corner right there. Press that and we have four options. Session Mix, Project Files, Ableton Live Set and now Launchpad. So when we press Launchpad, we're going to get prompted if we want to export our project with the loops being in AAC format or in WAV format. I usually choose WAV and press Export. And what's going to happen is it's going to open it up as a new project inside Launchpad. But if we open up the project list inside Launchpad, we can see that we have a section called Blocks Wave Projects. And here we find our cerebr cerebr oh, it's so hard to say. Cerebral Classic Worm Project. Now it's already open, so we don't have to open it again. Now the cool thing with this is that you can easily jump back and forth without a hitch. So let's say you want to edit something, let's say this bass loop right here, the volume. Now I know, I know you can edit the volume in here, but then you will change the volume for the entire stack. And of course you, you can, of course, use the individual gain control for the loops, but let's forget about that. Let's say you want to do it in blocks wave. To the side here, we can see that we have something called edit in blocks wave. So all you have to do now is press that and it will go back into Blocks Wave. And now we can go to that bass loop, edit it and pull down the volume. And all we have to do now is to update the project inside Launchpad. So again, we find the export function and it's going to open up this box with the Launchpad export option. And down here it says update now. But before you do that, make sure you check what kind of a file format mode this export is set to because it always resets to AAC mode. When I exported it, I know that I chose the wave mode. Simply tap that again and just press update. It will update the project and now we have a lower volume on the base. Oh, by the way, another cool thing is that if you make slices inside a loop, then Blocks Wave will automatically just bounce all the slices you made into a loop when it exports the project into Launchpad. So your project will sound the same inside Launchpad as it does inside Blocks Wave. Now I've worked with this the whole weekend and it's so seamless that I'm just, ah, uh, it's just brilliant. So Blocks for iOS and Novation, way to go. You really nailed it. Again, you have to update Launchpad and Blocks Wave to the latest version to be able to use the export function. 
Now I've got more videos featuring both Launchpad and Blocks Wave, and I'll make sure to put a playlist inside a box towards the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. So I've also got a Patreon site. So if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not join up on Patreon? If that isn't your cup of tea, you can always share my videos, press the thumbs up, and yeah, I think that's about it. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Right, so here are the boxes with the uh, playlist I talked about. It's the one here to, to the left. And if you press the, the one here to the right, then you'll find my regular hack attack stuff like reviews and, you know, I'm just going to go now. Yeah.